And actually, <laughs> she's like upside down. Yeah. Dear God, it's me, Jenna. And Julian. No, do not get in my prayer. I'm, I'm wearing my gaming glasses. Can I switch them? <laughs> Did you know that 9 out of 10 gamers are gamers? What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another cooking video. I want to cook this week. That's the end of that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it's been a minute since I cooked on this channel. Julian cooks every single week pretty much in Aries Kitchen on your channel. What? Is that what I've been doing? <laughs> Is this a collab? <laughs> Is this our first collab? This is our first collab. Hi, I'm Jenna. Collab? You wanna edit this video? Is that the collab part? I have to edit it? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Wait, really? You're gonna edit? Yeah. <sighs> Guys, I got the week off. Make sure you leave a dislike for the editing below. What? Why? And a comment how bad the editing is. What? No, don't. That's not how a collab's supposed to go. I really like Aries Kitchen Drilling. I do. Because I don't have to be in the kitchen when you're making a mess because we operate very differently in this space. Um, but so, my so. only critique of Aries Kitchen is that you don't make enough soup. I've already said a million times I would eat soup all day every day for every meal, regardless of the weather or anything. I, it's just the perfect meal to me. But you need to make more soups, which is why you're collabing with me on my channel. The so soup lady of YouTube. Collab. <laughs> yeah, I'm a 33-year-old lady making soup in my natural habitat. And I'm a 27-year-old man who makes cheese in <laughs> I thought maybe you said who makes Jesus. 27 year old man who makes cheeses and likes cheeses. <laughs> you have never had Italian wedding soup. No, I've also never been to an Italian wedding. <laughs> That's what they serve, right? Wait, how Italian are you? How can you be? That was in a sentence. <laughs> I'm pretty Italian, I don't know. I'm a quarter Italian. Oh, okay. With our Italians combined, can we eat this soup? Well, we have the power of Italy and anime on our <laughs> side. Are we ever gonna cook? <laughs> I feel like Italian wedding soup is one of my favorite soups, but every time I say that to someone, they're always like, yeah, I've never had that. Why? It's so good. Do you like chicken noodle soup? Yeah, you know that. It's essentially that, but with like a, a beef pork meatball. Is or sometimes chicken? people make chicken sausage meatball. I don't know, whatever you want, but it's like a vegetable broth with some vegetables, a little tiny pasta, mm -hmm. and then a meatball. Got it. What's easy. not to love? Easy, easy, easy. Wait, we didn't get any spinach. I feel like soup is the perfect meal, and at least one of y'all is sick right now. Just, you gotta be. I know it. You're cold, you want some soup. So here's an idea for you that I invented called Italian wedding soup. You invented it? Yeah. Okay. We'll link the recipe, right? I'll link the recipe. Okay. It's a recipe for actual Italian wedding soup with meat and egg to make the meatballs, so, but we're gonna use substitutions to make it uh, something that we can both enjoy. So also, we're gonna do that. Also, we're gonna make our own pasta. What's the name of the pasta again? Ancini de Pepe? Yeah. I think it's Ancini de Pepe. It's a really tiny, almost like couscous looking pasta. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna make our own pasta. Well, there is a gluten-free kind that we could have bought, but we had to order it and we didn't do that. No. Yeah, so we're gonna make our own pasta, we're gonna make our own meatballs, and then we're just gonna throw it in there. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. So if you're doing it the way we are with plant-based, you're gonna need some sort of um, ground beef and sausage. We're gonna use like mock bratwurst pork sausage and beyond ground beef. And we're gonna combine these to make meatballs with breadcrumbs amongst other things, right? Yeah. And then also for the pasta, we're gonna have literally just flour, the liquid from chickpeas and olive oil and salt. That's gonna be our pasta. We're gonna make it with just that. I don't know, sometimes I feel like a little guilty just being like, I wanna cook for my video today, but I know a lot of you guys are genuinely interested sometimes in what we eat and what we make, so we just, we're just gonna make it. And I'm not gonna bake, because we're not married. I'm gonna make the meatballs. Okay. If I make, I mean, eat some of these breadcrumbs. Half a pound of beef, half a pound of sausage, I don't know, we're using this. And a half a cup of whatever breadcrumbs you feel like. What I think is gonna be hard is that we're just gonna use enough aquafaba, or the liquid in garbanzo beans to use as an egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll just, I don't know, I used to make meatballs as a kid, so I'll try and do it by texture. That looks like an egg. Amazing. There you go. Mash her up, baby. It says don't overwork the meatballs, but I don't think it really matters for Why, because this ain't real meat? <laughs> Should we add a little salt? No, it doesn't call for any. I don't. Can I chop on the same board that you're using right Give now? Give me one second. <laughs> this honestly, it feels like the texture of a meatball. You know, they're yeah. sticky, everything is like sticking together. They look good. I've never tried to make a meatball with aquafaba, have you? No, 
I've just started using it, but it's kind of amazing. Well, I mean, worst case scenario, there's not little meatballs, but just like chunks of whatever this is, which I'm okay with. I mean, it looks it looks like it's gonna keep. I wish that there were more ready-made vegan soups that like, you know, were an actual representation of like a soup. I feel like there's two types of soups. Well, there's many types of soups. I feel like there's a couple types of soups. There's two types of soups. No, one's like an appetizer soup, right? Like it's a light soup or, you know, like a, a tomato soup. soup. Yeah, but then there's like a soup that's a meal that needs like a protein and a carb and, you know, something else. Give me some protein in there, feel me? Like our hot and sour soup that we make, this is a ton of tofu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this is how we're gonna turn our vegetable stock into chicken stock with these little cubes. We need a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Which I think that it's meant to be the... Powder. Yeah. Well, this will work. What if you crumple that? Can you really crumple it? No, it needs to be grated. It's already grated. Just crumple a quarter cup of that in here. Are you measuring? That's not measuring. That's not measuring. Wait. I'm eyeballing, babe. I think this needs like grated Parmesan cheese, but we just got the shredded kind because it's really good. So we'll see how it works. Honestly, who cares? It's a tiny meatball going into soup. I don't care. Will you get me a three clove powder garlic? And parsley? Fresh parsley. Okay, so I need to chop this. Yeah, chop. So you gotta get off the... Now I get center stage, baby. Are you okay? Did you cut yourself? Wait, is that a joke? No. It just says a third fresh parsley. <laughs> so I don't know, a third a teaspoon, a third a tablespoon. So a what's the other cup. two thirds of? Water? I don't know. Yeah, just start sprinkling it in here. We'll just see how it looks. I feel like I have the. You don't have to do it that high. Stop. When I would make meatballs as a kid with my dad, he always said I had like the perfect child size hand. So he would smack it into my hand and then I would roll it because they would come out the perfect size. I don't think it's dirty. I think I'll, I'll just leave it the way it is and not wash it. Hit me with a little more salt now that I've read that it says salt. Oh, somebody wants salt now. Just a little, not a lot. All right, good. But you I spent think... so much time just doing, it's already done. I'm mixing it. It's mixed. No, you just sprinkled salt, so I'm getting the salt in everywhere. Listen, okay, when I cook something, it's like even in texture and flavor, and when you cook things, you get like pockets of flour and like weird stuff happening. Yeah, but you don't even remember it because it, it came out so fast and you're already eating. It says roll into one inch balls. So I'm gonna be over here rolling me some spicy meatballs. They're not spicy though. The ones that I like, they're like little meatballs. So make them little. Like I wanna be able to fit it on my spoon and eat it. All right, um, I'm gonna be over here making pasta. We've like, I don't know if this is gonna work. The way you do it is. Wait, what are you doing? I'm doing it. I don't like it. This is how you do it. I've watched. Guys, this is, nothing's gonna go wrong. You're gonna take a clump of flour, a little bit of salt, mix it around. You're gonna make a little well in the middle, and that's where you're gonna pour a touch of olive oil, but mainly like an egg's worth of the liquid aquafaba. We're gonna make that tiny yeah. If we theorize how to do this, like if you just like roll it flat and chop it tiny, like that works, right? Yeah. So then you're gonna measure a little bit more olive oil. That's none of what you're doing is measuring. You're gonna measure it more faba. I have meatball fatigue. I'm getting bored and tired. I'm making pasta, dude. I want soup. Well, it's almost ready. This isn't the point when you say to your family, dinner's almost ready. And it's a complete and it's lie. Complete lie. Just to get inside their head. That's what my mom used to do. <laughs> Yo, we're making fucking pasta here. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna clear off the surface and just flour it up a little bit. What's wrong? I just can't watch parts of what you do. All right, we're gonna flour it up a little bit. And we're gonna press out our pasta dough. Look at this, I'm actually like impressed here. This is really cool. This is, it's like really behaving like I think pasta dough should. Yeah, see that's not right. You just roll it in a little ball. That's too big. Do you saw the pictures? It's a tiny like. Right, we'll roll it into two balls. There you go. There you go. This is like tiny food city right here. Because <laughs> it's soup. You want them to be little tiny bites. I take big bites of everything. It doesn't matter if it's liquid, solid, gas.
the madness is starting to set in of making our own tiny pasta. Here's varying sizes of out of control. Julian's are the big ones, mine are the little ones. We literally like by hand made rice, like grain, yeah. tiny grains of pasta. Well, we were test cooking them to see like how they would taste, or how they come out. It's definitely like very homemade pasta, like borderline dough. So I think we're gonna have to try and like cook them longer than you would a regular handmade pasta. My back hurts. Yeah, we've been here for literally an hour. I feel crazy. What are we doing? This is tedious. I mean, you could throw in rice or like a, a macaroni noodle or whatever yeah. you want, but I want Italian wedding soup with little balls of pasta. Well, it's gonna be little balls of gnocchi style pasta. Okay. There's no potato, but it does taste a little like gnocchi, kind of. Yeah, it does. And but with the flavor of the soup and the meatballs and everything, it'll be so good. Yeah. I'll just be here making pasta by hand. I'm off camera skinning carrots alive. Oh, you're peeling them. I'm getting so hungry from making pasta and tiny meatballs. I hope you like this soup or else this wasn't worth it at all. We should have just ordered that pasta. I'm also a little worried that um, since at the store we bought this shredded Parmesan cheese and not grated, that when we go to brown the meatballs that the cheese is gonna stick and burn on the pan. You know what? I just want soup, so. We're just gonna deal with what we got going because we're too far in. There's no turning back now. Heat me some olive oil, like a tablespoon. No, yeah, that's good. And once that's heated up, I'm gonna brown these meatballs and cross my fingers that the cheese doesn't burn and melt. It's not real cheese, so hopefully it- That's true. Hey, you look so cute in your apron. Thanks. You should wear it more. Even when you're just walking around the house. No, 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 no. I feel like our ratio is probably off here. Pasta to meatballs. But because this is like homemade pasta, I don't know, I feel like it's more filling, so you need less of it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It'll be a, a double meat Italian wedding. When the meat hits twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start cooking these meatballs. We're gonna cook these and brown them and then use the same pot to make the soup so that we still get all the flavor. I guess the aquafaba is like holding up pretty well because these meatballs are holding their shape really well. And so is the pasta. We also don't have to worry about like these cooking through either now or in the soup, but just cook it for however long you want. And not if it's meat, make sure you cook that through or else you're gonna get sick. I'm just excited to have a soup that's a meal. I'm also a huge, 10 out of 10 fan of meatballs. So anything with meatballs in it, give it to me. This is a lot of meatballs. Should we just like throw some macaroni in there? Oh no, one's falling apart. I'm being too rough with the balls. What? Why don't we see, like if we taste it and it's no good with the, uh, the pasta that we made, we'll just scrap it and throw some pasta in there and call it a day. Why is everything sticking? I hate this. It's gonna be like a ground meat and don't eat pasta soup. Are you okay with that? I spent so much time making them into balls only to have them betray me. Are they betraying you? Yeah, look at them. Like they don't know who made them. I made you. Remember where you came from, balls. <laughs> is this why there's no vegan gluten-free Italian wedding soup? Because this is a nightmare. <laughs> struggle. It's like truly a nightmare. I mean, it's gonna taste good, but it's just gonna be annoying. So I broke these up into smaller batches. It's working much better. When you just throw everything into a pot and be like, cook. But after this is done, we're like almost there. Yeah, you already cooked the pasta? Mm-hmm. All of the hard work is behind us. The meatballs take a little while, but if you didn't have to make your own pasta, it's really not that bad. So now, we're going to saute the vegetables, onion, carrot, celery. After this gets soft, then we're gonna add the garlic. But this is why you don't have to cook the soup for so long, you're sauteing it all over. But all that flavor from the meatball should still be on there, you know? We're not wasting any flavor here, y'all. Exactly. Okay, I don't need your help. We'll both saute, it'll go faster. I don't think that's how that works. The meatballs are definitely gonna be the star of this show. I'm right. like a bear with my hands in a peanut butter okay. jar, except with the garlic. You can add some garlic now if you want. Thank you, Julian. I think the only way to survive hand making pasta is to eat the pasta immediately after, or else you would die, right? Here comes the stock. And you put the bouillon cube. The in bouillon there. is in there. It'll it'll uh, like dissolve as it heats up, and then you're gonna we're gonna boil this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Once it gets to a boil. Then yeah, we're gonna add our stuff. Then we gonna eat? Yeah. Hell yeah. What's up? 
What's this? One serving? One serving. Sorry, it's just for me. All right, our soup is boiling. I'm going to put in the meatballs. Julian, you gonna put in the pasta? Yeah, hold on one second. All right, I'm adding my meatballs as carefully as I can. I'm scared of hot things. And our pasta, which we did cook a little. I feel like it's getting better as it cooks longer because it was very doughy. So I'm honestly not even mad if this overcooks because it just keeps like firming up. As you can see, our pasta to meat ratio is probably incorrect, but is whatever. This, is it starting to look like Italian wedding soup? Yeah, once we add the spinach, then yeah. I mean, see how if you take a bite, it's like a meatball and no pasta. It's not supposed to be like that, but like, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? It says to add this at the end, but I'm honestly just gonna add it now because I like. I Damn, like, you're a rebel. I don't care. I kind of like when the greens in soup is like really cooked. You know, like when you buy canned soup and it's like everything's been together for so long. I like that. Now it looks like Italian wedding soup. And I think once the meatballs are in there, it's gonna help flavor the soup even more. Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah, this actually looks really good. I've never had the soup, you know that. I haven't had it in many, many years or anything even close to it because we have to make it and this is the first time that we've actually done it. Do you want Parmesan cheese? I got the Parmesan. How much do you want? Whatever. Well, if you hate it, I'll eat yours. I'm excited for you to try it. One of my favorite soups. You've told me about this soup so many times and I've never gotten the chance to try it. It's really hot. Be careful. Cheers. Cheers, it's too hot. Julian, please be careful. But it looks it so good. It was just boiling. Mmm. That doesn't taste like any soup I've ever had. It's pretty good. Usually the one that I used to eat had more of like a pork flavor in the meat than like a beef flavor. Yeah, this has or more Or chicken. Beef yeah, this is the beef flavor of our fake beef definitely overpowers the sausage flavor. Maybe next time we'll use more sausage, but like, it's still really good. You might need a little salt. It's Mine's salt. really good, yeah, sure. It's good though, if, and if there's supposed to be more pasta. I couldn't stand to make another little tiny ball of pasta, honestly, I couldn't. This is really good soup. You like it? Yeah. It's really comforting. It's hearty, you know? It's like a hearty soup. That's why I like soup, because it's meant to be like a nice meal. You don't like it, do you? No, I just burnt myself. It's so good. Julian! I really like it. I really like it. Well, are you happy you spent a million hours doing this? Honestly, yeah. I love Aries Kitchen, but you don't make nearly enough soups. You gotta make more, more soups. I'm a 33-year-old lady, but I'm kind of just like a 93-year-old lady just trapped in here. This made for some soup. It yeah. needs pasta. Like, it's missing pasta. The meatballs are, like, pretty good. I wonder what would happen, since it's not real meat, if you just cook the meatballs in here. Because the meatballs in, like, Italian wedding soup are, like, you ever have, like, SpaghettiOs with meatballs? Mm hmm You know how firm and hard those little meatballs are? They're almost like that, but, like, better. Thank you for doing this. This was fun. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for laboring over tiny little pieces of pasta that look really nice. Are you gonna order food now? No, this is bomb. I wanna, I wanna chug this whole bowl. I'm gonna shotgun it. Burn my insides. Burn me. Excuse me? Oh, are you rolling? Top three soups I've ever had. Top three? Soup? Top three. I mean, you don't eat a lot of soup. Well, that's pretty high then. The hot and sour that we make. Chicken noodle. Chicken noodle and this. This is so good. Look it, I can taste all the love you put in these little balls of pasta. I put hate into it. <laughs> Cook with hate. I just clenched my jaw and farted while I made it. <laughs> Get out. Get out of my kitchen. Welcome back. <laughs> you ever pose for a picture and eat soup? What? Ma'am. Like the meat. If, if there was one, hold on, me first. If there was one food that you shouldn't eat upside down, it's probably soup. Like, Julian, ew. Can I take this to go? I hope this inspired you to make some nice homemade soup. Oh, it did. That's... For yourself? It's the one you love. Regardless of whatever dietary restrictions you have, I believe in you. If you can dream it, you can do it. I'm gonna make this again, and next time it's gonna be even better. I'm really happy. Thanks for letting me make some delicious soup. I'm not sick, I just felt like it. But yeah, that's it. Okay, you can come up here now. He's been down here the entire time. Crying the whole time. I can't have this, bud. Julian, thanks for collabing with me. Good collab. Why are you taking a bite of my soup? Get 
correct. <laughs> Bark. I, I love the way this cake is cut. I'll show you guys next week. Next week is my last video of 2019. I'm gonna make a video next week, but then I'm taking two weeks off for the holidays. What are you gonna do for the holidays? Make Italian wedding soup? I'm going to shut my eyes and brain off. I'm not gonna be here. Here, here, Can I hang out with you? here, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for letting me make a, a nice chill cooking video. I know this is like probably a little too tame for many of you, a little too boring, but for those of you that like calm, Cooking content, y'all domestic and 33 year old ladies mm -hmm. like me. I hope you enjoyed yourself and are inspired to go make some homemade soup. Mine's almost gone. I'll eat yours later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sick. Wow! Peach, you still owe me money. Don't think I forgot. You know what? Do I do that to you after you cook something? You look so pretty today. Julian, no! <laughs> It's really hard to be mad at you, like, all the time. You can't have the salt. I'm just trying to eat the salt. What are you, a horse? <laughs> it's like, give me salt lick. Yes, give me.